Okay, so this is uh, my take on the classic ball and vase routine. So here on my left, we have a beautifully hand-turned ebony vase. And on my right, we have an equally attractive maple vase. But we're going to start with the black vase. This is how it works. The ball goes into the vase. It's tipped out of the vase. It then goes into my pocket. The magic travels back into the vase. The lid is replaced and wow, how to do that. So we're going to give that a go, okay? So, we take the ball out of the vase. The ball goes into my pocket clip. If we then tap the vase three times, one, two, three, the ball returns to the vase. I'll do that again. We take the red ball and we place it in my pocket clip. If we then take the black stone and tap it three times, one, two, three, not only does the ball return to the vase from my pocket, but it does so in the color of the stone used. So now we have a black ball. I'll do this one final time. We take the black ball and we place it into the pocket. We take the white stone. Because we're using a white stone to produce a white ball, we're going to use the white vase. So we bring in the white vase. We tap it. One, two, three times, and once again the ball returns to the vase in the color of the stone, so now we have a white ball. One last thing to do, I take the white ball and I place it into my pocket, and now we're back where we started with the red ball. And that is my take on the ball and vase.